The findings are the result of a study conducted by Telephone Aviv University Professor of Physics Marek Karliner and Professor Jonathan L. Rosner of the University of Chicago. Quarks are one of the elementary particles of physics and are considered the most basic building blocks of matter in the universe. Although protons and neutrons have been considered as building blocks of matter, quarks are what make up protons and neutrons. Quarks are unique in that they are capable of maintaining a fractional electric charge unlike protons and electrons that have full charge, that is, plus one or minus one. There is not one, but six types of quarks, but physicists usually refer to them in terms of three pairs, up slash down, charm slash strange and up slash down. Quarks come together to form compound particles called hadrons. The most stable are protons and neutrons the components of the atomic nuclei. For quite some time, scientists have been wondering if it was possible to create a fusion reaction from quarks. It turns out that just a few months ago the physicists of the CERN particle accelerator near Geneva discovered a new type of particle called baryon, which contains two heavy quarks of the type called charm and light quark. Scientists explain that because the mass of the particles involved before and after fusion is known, they are able to calculate the amount of energy emitted precisely by Einstein's famous formula E equals mc2. The calculation showed that the amount of energy emitted between two baryons with a charm quark is 12 million electron volts, similar to that emitted by nuclear fusion between two heavy hydrogen isotopes. The precise measurement of the particle of the two lovely quarks allows them to simulate a fusion process at the quark level for the first time and calculate their results. 